So, hello everyone. I can't believe it. Here we are in 1920, no, 2022. It's a new year. By the time you see this video, it will be a new year. So today, um, I just thought I would talk to you uh, about the uh, cattle barn in Champaign. Now, um, I've driven by this building, I can't tell you how many times, and never stop to go in and see actually what it is. And what it is, it is a building of volunteers and artifacts of Champaign County. So if you enjoy learning about uh, Champaign County history, this is a building that you want to go to. And it's been around, in fact, it's one of the oldest commercial buildings that we have in the area. It's all brick building, downtown Champaign. And I met a lovely lady there um, who is going to tell you a little bit about it here in a minute. Her name was Deloria Siebert, and she is a treasurer for this nonprofit organization. So stay tuned if you want to learn about some history of Champaign County. <laughs> I'm here today at the Champaign County um, Museum with uh, Delora Seabrook. Did I say that right? You did. Okay. Yeah. And I just thought maybe uh, we would give uh, people in our community a shot at this little wonderful um, store that nobody seems to see sometimes. That's right. Most people drive by, they know where the cattle bank is, but they have never been there because there's huge signs on the side that say cattle bank. And what that is, um, this is the oldest commercial building in Champaign County, and it used to be a bank originally when cattle were sold here right before going on to the railroad to be shipped to wherever they were going. So it is, it's like 1860, um, 1856 is when it was started. We have this whole panel here that tells you about it. Uh, it was a bank and then it was many other commercial type stores um, that had fire damage once and then uh, it was eventually saved and rebuilt and restored and the museum bought it. I see, I see. Well, very good. And you said that you change out the exhibits all the time? Right, we okay. do. We have uh, four major exhibits right now. Um, this one is on photography. It just opened, actually, last week it opened and it is about all the photographers in Champaign County. Oh wow. Uh, the ones that became, had their own studios and took historical photo photos that we have some of. So there is Sidoris, Frank Sidoris, who, um, Henry Sidoris is the first person to come to Champaign County and the town of Sidoris is named after him. And one of uh, his heirs Frank Sidoris did a lot of photography, and we have some of that in our collection. I see. And how do you get this collection? Do people just donate, or how does that work? Yes, people donate. Um, they have a lot. Of, uh, there's a lot of things that people can't really use anymore, and, and that, you know, it's historical. It's history for the family, and they donate it, and we collected it. The museum's been around. Uh, we're going to have our 50th anniversary coming up. So over 50 years, we've collected quite a bit. Very good. We have this building, and we also have a storage building where we store a lot of our artifacts. I see, and where did this big boy come from? Well, this big boy here, let me see here, I have to see which one it is. It was a Century camera, and it was made in Rochester, New York. And I don't see that it said, it doesn't exactly tell where that came from, but it on this anyway, uh -huh. but it is in our collection. Okay, very good. And what, uh, which, who do you think is the most popular photographer here in, uh, in the community, would you say? Well, I think Frank Sidoris seems to be the name that comes up. People identify to, with? Because he's named after one of the towns. Sure, you know, his, sure. So it's a familiar name. Um, and there's this Frank Rice, he was, you're getting to when people came and got their photos taken too. Okay. And um, where some of them, Henry Sidoris did a lot of rural pictures. 
I see. Yeah. Okay. Very good. See, he did pictures. You can see there. Um, he was out in the country, and so he took a lot of farm pictures. Good. Good. All right. And how many people are involved in this uh, museum that kind of makes sure that it's supported and uh, taken care of? Well, we have, we are totally um, member and donation based. We don't have any funding from any municipality or county from, from tax dollars. I see. So we're totally supported. So we do a lot of activities. We try to do a lot of fundraising and uh, so basically, that's what supports us. Okay, all right. And what other rooms do we have here? We have back here. Here we have somebody here in the community. Hi. Hello. He's visiting. He's very good. Uh, visiting a university friend. Uh huh. So this is uh, Marriage and Stivic Chinago, who. Oh yeah, the this, News Gazette, right? The News Gazette, and she passed away here not that long ago, uh, 2002. But her, they sold the newspaper yes. a couple years ago, and uh, but Mrs. Chinago was a very interesting person, and I don't know, she married a, a what was he, a count or something, <laughs> and lived part time in Italy. I see. Uh, so, and she was an artist, and she was really quite good. And so we, whenever she passed, we got her art collection. Not only what she painted, but some of the pieces she owned. I herself. see. Very good. And so this is this is her. It shows her painting in Italy. Yes, and you know, <clears throat> it's hard to believe that we don't have that news gazette anymore. It's, I know. It's just sitting there as a vacant building, rotting away. Well, we don't like to see that. No, we hope that something is done with that building. Maybe yes. But someone did buy it, so. Yes, I was actually at the sale. Were you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, very good. Well, this lady was very talented, wasn't she? She was. And she knew a lot of famous people. She was connected with the Hollywood uh, movie stars. Uh huh. And things like that. So she was quite interesting. Very good. Okay. And do we have another room? We do. So, on a day's time, do you have very many people to visit? Do they finally wake up and see, <laughs> hey, that big flag out there to come on in? Come on in. We do. We have, uh, we're busy at certain times. We're busy a lot whenever the students come back and they have a lot of family to come and they want to come to and see what the county's about and um but then we hold other events for the people of the county to come and see the history of the county we're really proud of this exhibit here it's on the illinois traction system and it was william mckinley's uh it's his brainchild he, he wanted this so bad and he is the one that funded and built the system and it goes from, it's based here, it goes up to Peoria, down to East St. Louis, you can see, over to Danville, over to Springfield. And then it was an electric rail system, and it shot off to little towns also. My mom, you know, she used to go over, right up to Muhammad, over to like Lake of the Woods and things wow. like that. Wow, that's good to know. Yeah, and then, then it's just, it was extremely successful, um, and of course, the the event of the automobile is what uh, took it down. Yeah, it went to the uh, I think it was fifty two or four. I see. Yeah, well, fifty two. Um, Champaign Urbana was built around the railroad, mm -hmm. and yeah. that's uh, it was the split in the town. Yes, you know. <clears throat> so we're kind of unique because we have uh, two cat or. Uh, Two cities with two different mayors and that kind of thing. We do, yeah. So that's all pretty interesting. And the, the University United is kind of, um, yeah. We were, but um, but this exhibit is, is fascinating, really. It's it's highly um, electronic. We have multiple films showing different eras of the rails, what they look like, and the, and the cars look like from the 30s to the 50s. Um, 
We have a lot of artifacts from, from the system here to look at and lots of stuff to read. I see. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> this is fantastic. Now in your warehouse, do you have anything with the train or anything like that stored maybe? We do not. Do not. Um, actually, um, the over in Monticello, there is the train museum over there. Yes, I've been there. Okay, well he, the, the, the guy that manages that or is heavily uh, got a lot of items in there also loaned us some of this stuff to to have on display. But then there's, in northern Illinois, there's um, a whole museum on like traction trains, which of course are different than the steam engines and the... Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, because they were, these were ran on electricity, you know, by that, down through the... Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So, um, how many days a week are you open? We are open um, Wednesday through Saturday. And uh, from, let's see, one to five normally, and we're open at 10 to five on Saturdays. And then we're open late on Thursday night till seven. Okay. So, you can go on our, our website and see our hours. And okay, what is your website? Um, Champagne Champagne County History uh, dot org. Okay, great, <laughs> very good. Uh -huh. Well, this has been fun. I'm glad that you're letting me uh, film this. We're sure. going to be able to show this uh, to many, many people out on the uh, YouTube channel at okay. uh, ChampagneRose.com. Okay, great. Okay. We'd love to have you come visit us. Okay. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. So there you have it. That was a little tour of the cattle bank. Hope you enjoyed it. You really need to go in though because uh, <clears throat> my photography skills are not near as good as what you will see <clears throat> once you're in the building and you'll be able to uh, <clears throat> see the entire history of our county. So stop by. It's right there on University Avenue right downtown. She tells you what the hours are and uh, so you know feel free to stop by. And I hope uh, in the new year, uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about real estate or our community, anything like that, just, you know, email me or text me, call me. Any of those will work. I'd be happy to share with you my knowledge <coughs> about the area. So until we meet again, have a powerful day.